A live look outside the Supreme Court tonight where crowds continue to gather after the high court overturned Roe v. Wade, a landmark court ruling that recognizes a woman's constitutional right to abortion now overturned. Tonight, there is increased security, not just around the Supreme Court in areas of Washington, but also outside the homes of the justices, including Justice Kavanaugh, who was the target of an assassination plot just two weeks ago. Correspondent Tom Dency joining us in Maryland tonight with an update on the security in place this evening. Tom. Hey, Marnie. Yeah, ever since a draft opinion leak around six weeks ago, we've seen protests and vigils outside the homes of some of the more conservative members on the Supreme Court. That includes Justice Brett Kavanaugh. You can actually see his house behind me here uh, in suburban Maryland. And over the last few hours, we've seen a very small group of protesters come by uh, saying some chants and waving signs here. Lots of police officers as well as we see these protesters coming out the, right behind me. You can see the signs that they're holding right now. But again, many police officers also remain out here as they continue to monitor this area following this decision earlier today. This decision must be With the Supreme Court decision overturning Roe versus Wade, bringing another wave of protests, concerns remained on Friday over the safety of the justices. I call on everyone, no matter how deeply they care about this decision, to keep all protests peaceful, 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 peaceful. President Joe Biden called for calm shortly after the ruling came down and Washington, D.C. fully activated its police force through next Tuesday in response. Recent weeks show the need for police to be ready. From a man arrested near Brett Kavanaugh's home in Maryland after he allegedly threatened to murder the justice to a pro-life Christian pregnancy center in New York allegedly being the target of a firebombing. And in a letter written on Friday to the Departments of Justice and Homeland Security, Congressman Rob Portman and Chuck Grassley warned of a response from Jane's Revenge, a militant pro-abortion group, promising a night of rage, possibly bringing riots and protests against opponents of abortion. So this is very, very serious violence. These are crimes, and we know that more is threatened. Congress has already overwhelmingly passed a bill to grant extra security to families of Supreme Court justices. The president signed the legislation earlier this month. Violence is never acceptable. Threats and, intim and intimidation are not speech. Now, as a motion runs high yet again, a hope for peace and safety in the aftermath of a historic ruling. Peaceful protest is always encouraged, but violence must always be condemned. We will note, too, that that security bill passed by Congress also includes possible added security for officers of the court when deemed necessary by police. Marnie. All right, Tom, thank you. Stick around. Leland Vittert hosts Dan Abrams Live next. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.